Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Prison Architect Challenge series. This might be the last episode of this prison, um, depending if anyone gets killed in the next 17 hours, which would be a big no-no. Big, big no-no. You know what? I'm going to make sure this doesn't happen by... Oh, uh, where do we have it? Um, emergencies. By getting some riot police in here and some paramedics. All right, we're just going to get the paramedics in here. And we're going to put uh, one bunch in the canteen. One group in the shower. This is usually where stuff happens. So, and one bunch maybe somewhere over here. I'm going to split it up a little bit. Paramedics, also important. We're going to throw the paramedics into... Three paramedics go into the yard. And the other ones, how about we send them somewhere in the middle of everything. We just got to keep them alive. That's the most important part. Oh, my God. Okay. Things, uh, hoo, 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 boy. I'm, I'm so nervous about this. Oh, did that remove the, dr oh, that removed the train from the floor. Ooh, that's a problem. That's, that's a broad problem. I didn't think it would remove the drain, but it did. So, let's put drains down around the toilet. That makes cleaning everything easier as well, I imagine. If ever everything is drains. Everything is drains. We're gonna make this whole field drains. I hope that helps. And I hope that we, uh, since we added the new shower heads to things, that, that'll keep things cool. Look at that, danger is low. 318 prisoners are suppressed. That means a lot of them are not suppressed. Okay, how about we put run ride guard in here. One in the hallway. We're gonna have to like split them up a little bit. Put them into the showers as well. Are there shower, yeah, there's shower time. They don't seem to care for the shower, though. It is shower time, but nobody's going into the shower. They're, they're all too afraid. Oh, 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 there's a fight happening. Okay, guys. Send them over. Oh, shit. Okay, there's... Okay, unconscious. Good, good, good. We got it under control. Oh, could you turn this off, please? This is rather annoying. Thank you. God, so... So... Oh, Defro. We're gonna have a Defro prisoner in a day. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Um, can I keep this, like, lock shut? Okay, so now nobody can leave. We have all of these prison buses coming in with new prisoners. But I don't want them in yet. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna carry them in once the thread of criminal negligence is gone. So, um, legal prep. Uh, your lawyer will start paperwork to help you keep the heat. You should go something wrong, but it needs to be done in advance. I thought I did the legal prep. It's approved. So, how the f can I do this like somewhere in here? Programs, not so much. Okay, we're gonna have to stop a few of those. We don't, we don't need that many. 18 in queue, 140 finished, 61 passed. Wait, 61 passed? They didn't all pass yet? Are you f for real? People. Unbelievable. Okay, so behavioral therapy. You know. <laughs> How about uh, we start some behavioral therapy? Get 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 them to calm down a bit. Yeah, we can only have three because we only have one psychologist. Uh, treatment of drug addiction. We can't really do that. Spiritual guidance and parole hearings. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Where would we do this? We could probably do parole hearings in this room. As weird as that sounds. No, it needs to be a five by five. I was lying to you. I'm so sorry. We, I guess we can do them up here. If we wanted to do parole hearings, we could totally pull that off up here. I mean, we'll eventually get to that. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. As long as I can keep people from killing each other, I'll be the happiest camper. Let's put another riot guard in here. Um, I wonder if they're all just waiting for toilets to be free or if they're just standing around. Because it seems that they're just hanging around. Okay, now, now we're going to have feeding time. Feeding the beasts. Yep. Right, guards. We got this, guys. Keep your cool. It'll work out fine. Just don't get, don't get, don't get nervous now. This is, oh shit, this is where it counts. Okay. Send two more ride guards in here. What? Are, oh, Jesus. Okay, another person died. Where? Oh shit, over here? I didn't pay attention. <sighs> Kill for being a snitch. God damn it. All right, send some people over right now. Uh, I'm so nervous. I don't want to lose this prison. Because we had like 24 deaths yesterday. I mean, shit, it wasn't my fault. 
How is that my fault? Just because I'm running this joint doesn't mean this is my fault. Yeah, you're on break. No, you're not on break. How about we uh, arm patrol? Okay, we have two arm patrols in here, one arm patrol in here. I wouldn't mind just having another arm patrol right there. About that, let's hire a few more. Let's just uh, go ahead and hire eight more armed guards. Sure, it costs a bit, but we still have a you know very good budget. If we have some extra guards, I'll be happy. Staff canteen will eventually follow. Oh yeah, right, staff canteen. Maybe I can squeeze one over here. That makes no sense to put it there. Makes no sense. Okay, eight more hours. Okay, so far so good. Everyone's squeezing out of here. I like what I'm seeing. How about we put a, uh, hey doctor, just go in there and see if anyone's injured. The chief, ah, uh, chief. What's happening, chief? A recent high-profile gang case has implicated one of our minimum security prisoners as a high-ranking gang leader. They remained under the radar, but now everyone knows who they are. Well, fucking sucks for them, doesn't it? Just, it, it sucks for them. That's all I gotta say about the situation. Oh, and it's yard time, oh boy. Doesn't it suck for you? Uh, I'm gonna throw some more guards into this. Guys, I need you to uh, stay vigilant. Six more hours. This is like an episode of 24, friggin' nail biter. Oh, 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 something's happening over here. Well, I don't like what I'm seeing. Okay, send him over. Okay, is anyone like angrily jumping around? That's always a good indicator for trouble. Here's screaming. Oh god, tasering. All the tasering is happening somewhere. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. A legendary prisoner is fighting. Shit. One more death and it's over. No! Don't say we didn't warn you. You've been found of criminal negligence because of recent events here. You will now spend the next 10 years in prison. Great. Well, if there's one thing that I don't like, it's like giving up. So I loaded back up my safe game and decided to put everyone on sleep except for food. You know. So they don't have to run around too much, and we can control them a little bit better. But God damn it, a water pipe has burst. Ah, uh, that's great. That's just, just, just what I need right now. So we have three of five deaths again. Jesus, it's a big one as well. Um, well, let's put it there and do it fast. Will you? Oh God, it's flooding everywhere. That's pretty bad. How, how about? Are you fixing it? Is it fixed? Okay, I think it's fixed. It just needs to be cleaned up. Problem solved. Okay, good. So yeah. Six hours remaining, 305 deaths. Let's see how it goes. I still have the riot police in here. Uh, let's let's hope this goes well. Again. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. This is the sound I don't like to hear. Supposedly, 351 prisoners are suppressed. That means a lot are not. Oh god, okay. Over here, some fighting happening. Let's bring in the people real quick. All right, that's too many people. Oh, people are gonna die. If we're not, if we're not lucky, people are gonna die hard and fast. Okay, doctor, in there you go. You, you can do it. You can. Okay, more people in there. Deal with them. Okay. Whew. Okay, they're not dead. Good, 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 good. Man, I'm freaking nervous about this, cause I really like this prison. And I'm not gonna get imprisoned because some people think they can do whatever the frick they please. Okay, why is nobody sleeping? Are you not tired? Are you not entertained? Oh, about entertaining, that's another thing. Okay, where are they fighting? Okay, somewhere over there we got some people, uh, some angry people. Just to send all of them over. Okay, some angry folks over here are bouncing around. Put some riot guards into the midst of this. Keep them suppressed, keep them suppressed. Guys. Oh god, the danger levels are incredibly high. Okay, yes, everyone's sleeping. Go sleep, go and sleep. No fighting, no fighting. You can fight tomorrow. You can fight in two hours and 50 minutes and you can kill each other again. All right, CEO, it looks like your lawyer has filed some paperwork that is protecting you from the consequences of this mess. I guess that means I can fire you this time. Get your prison in order quickly and make sure it stays in line. The trick won't work again and it won't protect you forever. Oh, thank you, lawyer. Do I have to fill paperwork again? I hope, I hope not. Anyways, whoo, we're back in business. 
Let's send these guys home. Uh, we're gonna have to go back to a regular uh, program. So we're gonna get in plenty of. Uh, how about some free time? We're gonna have to go with a more lax uh, program. Okay, we're gonna do three hours of showering, two hours of work. After eating, let's do another two hours of work and free time. Some free time in between here. S screw the yard. We don't need a friggin' yard. And sure, here you can have some free time. It's a way more lax schedule. I hope uh, they aren't gonna lose their minds. So what we'll do to bring up the morale a bit, we're gonna create a common room. Rooms. Common room. Ta-da! There you go. Now you, now you can enjoy the common room together. Shit happened here. I have no idea what. It's time for a shakedown! Ooh, shakedown! My favorite thing. Somewhat. I mean, they're gonna be upset anyway, but we're gonna have to get the you know, weapons out of here. The biggest problem is if we have a legendary prisoner who grabs something. Um, how are things going in terms of prisoners inside? 394! Okay. Keep searching. Keep searching. Doesn't seem to be too effective, honestly, though. We're not finding too much shears. Where the frick are you getting shears from? We, we can find out where they get shears from. Dangerous. Okay, where could you get those from? Scissors. All of this stuff. Nobody has access to this. Um, shears. There's no way you should be able to get shears, yet you have them. And well. Man, I'm not looking for two seconds and shit goes down again. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, so great. Everyone get in there and friggin' stop this madness. Will you? Thank you. Great, four deaths again. Anyway, so I'm rebuilding a few things. I'm adding, uh, as you've seen here in the common room, some fantastic things. How about we also, uh, here, marble tiles. Sure. What? If it makes them happy, marble tiles for the common room. Ser seriously, I'm totally okay with that. Um, as long as it, you know, cools them down a bit. That's totally fine with me. Uh, we're also going to build the shower heads again. We build a, a big TV and a big sofa over here. Benches, phone booths, uh, a vending machine right next to the death row cell because why not? We even have gaming cabinets in the common room, which they hopefully will use. I hope this cools them down a bit, that they have things that they can now uh, uh, play with. And I think having something like... I wanted to have the parole rooms over there, but what I will have rather is a chapel. Just right over here. We could also have the chapel in here, I remember, but, um... Yeah, I'm trying to keep the peace and calm calm them down. Chapel needs to be at least six by six. Oh, boy. That's a problem. Six by six. Hmm. What shall we do about that? Oh, right. All these women with their babies. Hmm. Let them, let them stay there. This is not a problem. Don't don't worry. It's, it's not a problem. <laughs> I like how there's one mother is here. We have, we have one mother in there. Well, so personally, I would like to get 500 prisoners into my prison and then keep it somewhat, let's say, uh, let's bring this to total prisoners 500. We're going to rent this up to 500. Yes, please. And I think we should be able with the next income to like be roughly at that size. The game also starts lagging a little bit. But then I would like to be able to sell the prison with 500 prisoners. And if we're able to do that, I would say this challenge was successful. Problem with that is, yeah, we had five deaths in the last 24 hours. Yeah, that's a <clears throat> more or less an issue. If you if you want to call it that, it's an issue. It's a problem. It's a big problem. It's a big ass problem. Anyway, let's uh, put those pipes down for the showers to make people a little bit more happy. And so far, so good. Since we make plenty of cash monies, we're gonna throw a few more guards in there. Let's bring the guards up to 100. Why not? Hire, like, a few more janitors. Keep it nice and clean. Some more cooks to deal with this mess. And someone else died. God damn it! Could you stop it? I wanna sell the prison, and if you keep dying, I can't. Alright, it seems that at least they're gonna be able to fulfill some of their needs by playing and having fun and whatnot. Look at them hanging at the car, uh, uh, arcade cabinets. Do they even use stuff that's out here? Oh yeah, they're using the phones, definitely. Okay. Okay, why, why are you fighting? Why, why, is, why are you fighting? What is going on here? A room full of naked ladies. Oh well. <sighs> and another dead. Could we stop it with the dead people? Just just for once, please. Oh. Am I asking too much here, people? Just, just like one day where you don't kill each other. Allowing me to sell this prison and let it be someone else's problem. Alright, it's safe to say that we need more armed guards. I mean, when in doubt, more armed guards. Keep, keep, them, keep them all nice and suppressed. 
Don't let him even think about it. That's that's beautiful. Only thing in the way of that is obviously uh, the fact that we need more guards. We need more lockers. And I think we can squeeze a few more in here. Just like a row. And it seems that there's not enough eating time. So we're going to add another hour to eating. And let's just create some free time. Sure. Then some work and then some free time. Kind of want them to work a little bit. How many hours of sleep is this? Seven, eight, nine hours of sleep. That's a that's a very generous sleep schedule there. And I decided I'm going to hire another ten janitors. Because uh, stuff is filthy. Very, very filthy indeed. Hey, you know what? You know what? Let's make that 50. Sure. 60. Sure. More janitors. More fun. Yeah, it reminds me, I would really love to see uh, what's going on here. In the last 24 hours, what was found. I mean, we found a lot of contraband coming in from the inside that I'm not surprised about. Not a lot of coming from visitation, actually, it seems like. Uh, poison, alcohol, booze hidden somewhere. Uh, the owners. Wow, this made quite the screwdriver made quite the had quite the adventure. Um, look at all these informants. Ugh. There, there's our legendary leader. Let's make sure we don't imprison uh, gang leaders. We should really have a look. Potential CI. Let Let's not recruit a CI because they're just gonna get killed as a snitch. That'd be unpleasant. Okay. Shit, another death. It's just not my day. And it's not the day of the person who just died. That's that's for sure. You know, what about room quality? Um, it's below average. Well, <clears throat> what would it be? Oh, bookshelf before prisoners. Right, they want all of that stuff and shower heads and... Uh, yeah, the room size is at least six squares per prisoner. And so that's a start. Um, outdoor windows per eight prisoners. What if we just make, uh, if we put outdoor windows everywhere? Just make them happy. I don't think they break out through windows. Uh, and we're gonna put small windows in here. Just put them along the whole side. I don't care if it costs a lot. Nothing's good enough for my prisoners. No, seriously, if they stop killing each other, I'll be happy. Uh, and I'm gonna put them in the solitary cells. So they can look outside, so they, go, so they don't go completely nuts. And, uh, sure. Let's make some, put some, let's put some windows in the shower. So you can watch, uh, people shower. You know, not that you wouldn't be able to see everyone else just showering all the time. There's no such thing as privacy in this prison. But, you know, now you don't even have to go into the shower to enjoy that. Also, yeah, allow them to look over from the staff room so you can watch what's going on. That's good. Bookshelves were also mentioned that the more bookshelves, the better. I'm just going to make a whole row of bookshelves left and right. Wherever we can squeeze uh, items of joy, we will do so. Oh boy, what's going on? What's going on? Who's who's fussing around? Okay, we got it under control. Excellent. What about all these unconscious people here? Solitary 60 minutes, solitary 17 hours. Okay, you're a gang leader, aren't you? No, unknown reputation. Sarah Doni. Hmm. Okay, they're, they're lacking a lot of family, so how about we add some phone booths to the whole mix? I mean, we have a few over here, but I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing to have some uh, more phone stations, maybe here in the middle, maybe some over here, just more spread out so they can talk. And maybe that'll do something, maybe it won't, but we'll see. I'll try my best. Uh, looks like we still don't have the uh, death row inmate. I thought we would have gotten one, but maybe he's dead or... I don't know what happened to him. No clue whatsoever. Okay, this person is really upset. Drugs. Um, punish. Uh, permanent solitary. Let's let's just start with that. How about that? Problem makers, permanent solitary. 479 prisoners. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It is a certainly a busy prison. Oh, there's another one that's really upset. What's going on? Privacy. Permanent solitary. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, permanent solitary. What a bummer. That's a, that's a real, real shame there. Real shame. Oh, permanent solitary. What a bummer. You? Rape, gross, indecency, and assault. What did you do? How did you get in here? I don't know. Solitary. Hygiene. Oh. Oh, she's angry. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, that riles up other prisoners. Uh, solitary. Permanent. Ah, uh, this is not working. Solitary permanent. Let's bring in, let's bring in the cavalry. Shall we? You're gonna have to defuse the situation. Okay. Situation is probably defused at this point. Except there's some more angry people over here. 
So, so, so there's angry people everywhere. Just like real life. She's yelling safety while she showers. I mean, I guess this is not ideal. It's not, not, I mean, privacy is definitely not a given. Okay, um, the leader is being punished. Okay, wait a second. Uh, intelligence. Informants, where's the gang leader? Legendary. Oh, and punishment. Yeah, you get to go. Sure. Uh, that was definitely a gang leader. Gang member, it says. Hmm. Oh, it's a riot. Great. Great, that's that's exactly what I need, is a riot. All right, bring everyone in. Arr, emergencies. Riot police. In you go. Let's, uh... Before it, it gets worse. Bring everyone in. Okay, a bunch of... Riots over there. Cool, we have some deaths. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. We're never gonna be able to sell this prison. Let's, uh, let's be real about that. The riot was squashed successfully! I mean, there's still some angry prisoners running around, but uh, what can you do? So can we, like, bring her out? Yeah, she, she gets to be released. We have to make sure that the leader's not being punished anymore. 36, the leader's being punished. Who is the friggin... I do not know who your, who your leader is. Okay, we have no idea about this person. So, if we don't know who that person is, we're gonna have to kind of let them go. Okay, it calmed down thanks to the leader not being imprisoned anymore. Oh boy, the lag. This is, uh, this is a busy prison right now. Uh, quite the busy prison. I like this reception just full of mothers and babies just being on there. And there's, there's the guards just like, yep, there's going to be a cell open pretty soon. Just uh, wait a few more years. <laughs> the good thing about this, I don't have to really worry about them. They're just standing around there and uh, they're not rioting. They have babies to think about. Ah, oh, mothers. All right, food. Oh yeah, right. That's that's a thing. Um, they're complaining a lot about food. Uh, quantity, medium, variety. How about we just set that to low and quantity high? Sure. Costs a little bit per day, but it might bring it. Sure. Let's set it to high. Costs us fourteen thousand a day. We still make twenty three thousand. If it makes, if it makes our prisoners happy, that's good. Um, it looks like we. Might need more from the fri- more fridges? It looks like. I'm trying to find out what we need more to um, deal with the supply. Just gonna add a few cooks that hopefully are busy soon. It seems fine. We have enough ingredients and cookers. All right, we're gonna have a six hour eating period. We're gonna have to be able to feed most people. It's really important. Um, I do wonder about that though, if I set it on a policy, the quantity. If we set that to medium, and this to medium. Maybe we can handle it a little bit better because as of right now, yeah. Damn it, the prisoners are really hungry. No wonder they're upset if they're getting no food. Okay, now it is all about being able to run this prison for 24 hours without any deaths. That's all I want from this game right now. We have 500 prisoners in our prison right now, so that's that's exciting. I'll take that. 27 prisoners on me. Do you mean 27 prisoners are there with a baby? Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Still, 508 prisoners right now, uh, which gave me an achievement by that, you know, for that matter. And if I'm able to hold this for 24 hours without a death, I'm going to say this challenge is finished. But Weasel, how are you going to be able to do this? Ha ha ha. Well, my little sugar bunny, I have a plan. It's, it's kind of weird. It's like sleeping time and there's so many beds which are unoccupied because all of these people are just roaming around not sleeping. Like, are they not like remotely tired at all? Maybe. I don't know. In any case, I think it's time to look at this. Oh boy. Yes. 990,000. And no deaths in the past 24 hours with 524 prisoners in our prison right now, which I personally think is excellent. And we're going to be selling this prison for 1 million. Not yet, though, because, of course, now that we finished our prison, what's the one thing we need to do, obviously? What's, what's that one thing that we absolutely need to do? Oh yeah, instigate a riot. That's what we need to do. What better way to instigate a riot than to just do a bang up. Everybody go to your cell and go nowhere else. Oh, also take all of- Oh Jesus, 228 prisoners for the next intake? 
Oh god, yes. 152 prisoners. I load it up so we don't have to wait a whole 24 hours. But yeah, time for a bang up. Well, let's see what goes on. Free fire? Yeah, turn that on. Let's have some fun with this. Let's bring them all in. You know what? I don't even care. It doesn't need to be a bang up. Let's just, let's just haul them all in. Haul them all in. 152 people. Bring them in. Let's, let's see how many we can fit. I foresee no problems from this. Let's just together enjoy this weird thing we did. Bathe in the glory that is over 500 prisoners in a dormitory. Bask in the knowledge that we're responsible for the, at this point, countless deaths of digital beings. Oh, I'm all for like bringing more people in, but you know what would be a whole lot of fun? First of all, let's, let's get all, all security personnel out here. Yeah, everyone go out here. Uh, wouldn't that be a bummer if someone just like locked those doors? I, I hope this works. If not, it's gonna be really awkward. Come on, guys, you, you can make it outside. Nope, nobody leaves. Wait, how are those prisoners getting out there? No, 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 no. I should, I should have said this is staff only, which is very important. So nobody gets the idea to like leave here. Oh, oh, you're, you're all waiting for solitary. Yeah, I don't foresee anything bad happening with uh, roughly, I want to say, 400 people locked into a room. There's, there's not going to be a problem with that. Just want to agitate him a little bit. You know what? While we're at it, let's do a shakedown. Shakedown is always a good time. People love shakedowns. Wow, they confiscated two shotguns. How the fuck did you guys get shotguns in here? Did you break into the armory without me noticing? Eh, probably. Oh, this looks great too. I this is this is fantastic. Okay, I think they're angry enough. Man, all of these people have been in areas that they're not allowed in, I think. And now they're all about to be arrested. That's fantastic. Ah, oh, justice is great. Um are we not gonna bring those people into the other into the dormitory? How how about how about we do that? Do we not do you not bring them in because we don't have the room? Or is that is that the problem? So I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm a little bit worried, honestly, what you're what you're doing here. Uh, I guess they're not gonna get brought into the dormitory cell because uh, it's it's full. But it's that's uh, uh, <clears throat> a problem. I want to say it's uh, more or less an, uh, a small issue. Mm, no, it looks like that they're now going into the dormitory cell. Everything is good. Oh god, it must must be so gross in there. Oh, well, looks like we're having a fantastic cash flow here. You know, I'd be I'd be curious to see. Um, I just have this like burning question of what happens if you put oh the chief, what's going on? Staff have become unhappy with their working conditions. Oh, they have threatened to go on strike if they don't get a fifty percent pay raise. Oh, okay. You know what? I don't think we need to to start a fire. This is uh going downhill as it is. I'm not gonna pay them more. Sure, let him go on strike if we're uh, here long enough. Well, I, I think we took care of the riot. Yeah, this is fine. See, everything's running like a butter. Let him go on strike. I will never pay these greedy sons of bitches. Minimum wage is a lie. You don't need money for food. There are soup kitchens. The sounds are great, though. The sounds are fantastic. The chief! Our staff have gone on strike. They will be willing to return if they get their 50% pay raise. Excellent. Let's uh is everyone go is is everyone going on strike, I wonder? Or is it just It's everyone. It is literally Nah, not everyone though. Some people are on break. Alright, yep, they're striking. No in dollars! What are you great? Yeah, just, just, are you just setting, oh, it's a protest fire. Sure. That's, that's a normal thing to do. Look, <laughs> there's so many barrels. Why, why, why is everyone here again? What are you doing in this holding cell? Why is there a prison cell full of naked ladies? This can't be good. Um, I am not sure why, but the strike resulted in every single prisoner that could 
going into the solitary cell. That means there must be like, what, 300 people in there? If that? So is the staff gonna be on strike for the next 20 hours if I don't do anything? 144 are on strike, but there's still guards around. I can sit this out, can you? Oh, CEO. Yesterday was a very dark chapter. Again, make sure nobody else dies. I don't think that's gonna happen. <clears throat> Oh, one, two. Okay, what going? Six hundred sixty-six prisoners. The number of the beast. That's a that's a good good that's a good sign, isn't it? How about we just do a lockdown, lock shot, and uh, we're just gonna leave the cell closed off. I mean, here's the advantage to that. I don't see foresee too many problems here with the staff, with the people uh, killing each other, if they're all in there. Lawyer, do something. Lawyer me out of this. Well, one more death and we're gonna go to prison ourselves. Wouldn't want that happening. Fine, you can have your friggin' pay raise, you greedy son of bitches. Let's, but let's keep that close, shall we? Let's just, uh... Let's, let's keep that close and see how that goes. I'm kinda just waiting for a black hole to form at this point. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. I'm the worst person. Oh boy! More prisoners, exactly what I needed. <laughs> Death row inmate status, 48%. What does that mean? I'm pretty sure that means something along the lines of like 48% guilty. Something like that. Likelihood of clemency, 48%. Ah! You know what? Let's, let's have some fun with this. It says, one more death and I'm getting charged. But, <clears throat> what happens if that's a death row inmate? Good question. Anyway, we're we're doing we're doing a death row. Let's let's throw a death row on the thing. Let's see what happens. So uh, the lockdown is, you know, we're authorizing this. Let's test the facilities. Somebody has to test those. There's insufficient electrical power. Well, and don't turn that goddamn thing on. Why why can't this not be turned on? Well, great. Can't can't do it. Lucky you. Up oh, a riot is happening. Well, I'm certain someone's gonna die during the riot. Yup, there we go! Failure! Criminal negligence! Oh, no, don't say we didn't warn you. You know what? That's fine. I, I, I somewhat expected that. That's, that's quite okay. Anyway, guys! That concludes this series, this challenge series, which we completed in this episode. We had 500 prisoners, uh, which was kind of my self-set goal. We didn't have deaths for a day, and we're gonna sell the prison for one million. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it in there because this thing is never gonna arrive. Oh, actually it is. Never mind, I, I take it back. In any case, if you guys have an idea for a challenge, make sure to leave your ideas in the comments below. If you see something that you like, make sure to upvote it. So it rises up and, uh, you know, I know you guys think that's a cool challenge and whatever. I think it would be a lot of fun and gets a lot of votes. We're gonna try to put into some sort of prison challenge. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye bye. Bye bye.